also on front row tickets. Look at them put up a good fight. Oh, well. Look at them put a good run away. Thanks for the money, friend. But now I'm losing the war on paper. Because I don't have his uh, capital, no doubt. Yeah, I'm losing six war score from that. But a couple of his capital, uh, a couple of his forts are ready to go. There goes one. Um, Killer DJ, take that. Elko takes Samarkand since it's so incredibly good. Why are you not able to go there? Okay. And that's a single stack. We're good. Don't want to have to defensive edict my forts around Georgia, so I won't. Are you even sieging Afghans? I told uh, the Wallachians to do it. They appear not to be doing it. I guess I'll go over and take care of it. There we go. Capital's down. War score flips in my favor. I need to think about what I want to take here again. Now, it's not that expensive because uh, glorious Cassus Belly that we used, imperialism. Was that what I was after, though? The border goes along there. So I need those two. Alright, I need uh, 60 war score at least, and to have him flagging in the war. Alright, groovy. I mean, might as well take the money while we're at it. But that means we have to win proper, and I'm not getting tons of war score from battles. Or really much war score at all at this rate. Fort's help. Fort's help in a big way. I think we're going to have you two go together. Let's go together. And I want to take this fort for myself. It's a good block-off point. It's kind of hard to see what's what here because of the coloured wastelands. Can I turn that off in the middle of a campaign? Mm, no. No, for whatever reason, that's something you change in the lobby. Oh well. Gotta live with it. So we will. Alright, nice. We got the recommendation into steal burger money. I like stealing burger money, but perhaps we could steal more burger money. And some Diplo while we're at it. And fire that useless guy. Nice. Oh, it's not coming together at lightning speed here, but it's coming together very well. I would just like to get an heir so that we're not at risk of personal union when all's said and done. Imagine that. The only problems we need to take is the Kirills, and then we fall under personal union to Sweden. And then he uses his not overpowered magic to integrate me. Let's get these back. It's a disaster that they, uh, they ever felt. Oh, hmm, Govi is their capital. I won't be able to just straight up demand it from them. Guess we're going to be fighting Ming, unless you have another convenient ally, but you do not. Don't like Albania having all this occupation done, that's going to hurt his war exhaustion. Chings Wallachia is hurting. Poor guys. Oh, God. It's getting worse and worse. Aki is indulgent and malevolent. They don't have it where it matters, and the queen is dead. Um... What I can do is break royal ties. It doesn't destabilize me, because I've taken full, uh, full ideas. And then... I will re-royal marry and hope that we get ourselves a new queen. Uh, we'd get a local noble if the king died whilst at war, which would be a shame. 
Wow, okay, Ottomans are throwing a uh, babbling buffoon insult at us. It would be okay to get a local noble here, but it's a shame because we carried the same house throughout the whole game, the Petroviks. In fact, if we even look at our history, the very start, does it not name uh, Petrovic? No, it does not. Stepan the first lost Zeta. Well, I took it all back. Timmy's already not very happy with this war. I find it hard to blame him. Let's make sure that we have the defensiveness going. Might benefit from having it here as well. Except it's only a territory. Blow it open. And then we'll get over and uh, vanquish the Yemenis. Hmm. Oyrat and Ming. So how swall is the Ming these days? Ish. Well, at least he's got no manpower. Do you have enough time for colonizing Siberia? I'm sure we'll be fine on that front. The thing that takes a long time is actually sending these uh, these colonists. But we can easily have three colonies going. And the speed at which they, uh, they grow is just fine. The important thing I want to do is seal off that coastline. That way everything is good for me. I also want to get this war done before the Scandinavian truces up or else he will coalition and likely fire the coalition, seeing me already being in a big war. Even Novgorod. There's no remorse. It's just all Serbs all the time. These two will be done soon, including our capital. Capital will take a while, but we're getting there. This is kind of rough around the borders. Let's uh, do the Serbs there. Mmm... God, what the hell? Say no to Muscovites. I'm saying no to Muscovites. Are you? Now, that was an accepted culture, but the emphasis is on was. Goodbye, traditional Russians. And let's, you know, keep the borders smooth while we're at it. Mishars. No, Serbs. There we go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and soon they'll touch. It's only 40 ducats will help out these poor natives. They don't know any better, such as the Serbian man's burden. This will soon fall, this should be under control, and I'm going to have you folks take care of these. And get you into position that you can come hammering down on them, shouldn't need much more than that. With this under good enough lockdown, I want you guys, if I could ever select you, to deal with more of this. Killer DJ is good at this whole fort nonsense, but these are big forts. Big, beefy forts. I can't believe we're so slow to get admin in here. We're doing everything we can to get it, but it's just not enough. Okay, that is done. Hopefully, the Timmies can't get back through this, and hopefully I can maintain manpower. Could push down there. We're getting ticking war score from this, which is nice. We're not able to get Yemen out of the war anytime soon. That is not nice. But these seem to be going fine. And maybe if I just tell my subjects to focus on the sieging, they'll take care of this for me. So maybe I can just keep you guys here and here. Ooh, I'm not sure I want to... Yeah, it's, it's a tiny fight. It's no big deal. Send you there. Take care of all this. We're all good. <laughs> ah. 
Religious genocide, ethnic genocide. Who would have thought that would come out of the Balkans? Not being able to get tons of war score from battle is actually a, a real pain in this. If I'd been thinking about that, maybe I would have um, gone for Holy War. But I also wanted taking the provinces to be cheaper. And good heavens, what's this province made of? Stellinium keeping me out of that fort. We'll take Kashgar while we're at it. It's just so hard to see what is actual provinces and not. But yeah, this should block them from coming in here and here. Should, you know, AI sometimes just casually wanders their way around forts. And I wish I knew what caused that. It's like every time you stamp down, uh, stamp down on one of the causes, a few more causes come back. Didn't like spending admin on that, but will be us. Oh, those are Afghans, right? Let's just remove, remove Afghans from the equation. And suddenly everything is better. Montenegro's name just shunts down that tiny bit. Fine by me. Graveyard of empires, they said. When I said go and siege, I kind of didn't mean go into the enemy heartlands and just... Oh, my days. Instructions unclear. Thought you said kill yourself. Okay. Killer DJ, take care of that. Somebody else with decent siege. Not our current ruler. We'll get somebody else in. I'm feeling like it's the day all the... All wins to come back to us. Mm -mm. For siege, I'll take it. Ah, right, sadly the Yemenites decided to run away. Kargopol, shipyards. Consolidating all that development, I see. Not a concern, though. We're too big for that to be a concern. Too big to fail, even. Crimea's down, that's down. Starting to think I don't want to push this all the way for the Dosh, even though I really want the Dosh. Because it's more useful to me to get done with the war so that the coalition doesn't strike me at the same time. Even though I'm sure people are begging for that to happen. People want to see me get coalition struck whilst all my army is over in Asia. But I don't want to see that happen. I've come a long way here. It feels good to flex. Even on very hard mode where you don't often get that chance to flex. Uh-oh. Didn't consider them coming around here, did I? That's a lot of very, very angry Tim Tims marching on me. Still, another one bites the dust. I need to get another 10 or 15 war score, however, to really push them out. Uh, however, there's a good opportunity to do that if I march on these forts. Sadly, he has them all extremely well reinforced. Ming is out of that war. That explains why all the Tim Tims are coming our way. Very angry Timurids. Okay, if you guys got nothing to do, you work on that fort. <laughs> Timurids and Sind unhappy. Well, you know, Sind, I could do without more people joining this coalition, so please stay out of it. You too, Malwa. And I shouldn't need to improve relations with France anymore. Keep getting that event now. Assuage their pains. I'd rather not. I'm not looking to uh, break out in a sweat over this war. But uh, let's grab some extra forts. Maybe spread out and take this. And hope that we can do that before the Tim Tims cause us too much trouble. Uh, trouble. All wins is decent at what he does, but uh, fire phase does come first. I think I'll have Killer DJ on the case. It's only desert there. Mm, no, he could come in with more reinforcements. 
I'm not in a position to take on that kind of number without a really good advantage or having them broken up nicely. Not to mention, he's extremely well led there. But we're holding in mountains, so he's unlikely to come our way and uh, hurt us. Alright, Lahore being down is lovely. We could continue work on Sirhin. It's another level 8 fort, joy of joys. But once this is down, you can maybe spread out and do some sieges there. What do Timmy's army stats look like? Well, maybe we'll fight him and find out. Wait, what? Which province was that? Ah, right, I've taken you and cored you, so it makes sense to also convert you. Bust. Need to mind to stay on top of my poor subjects. Don't like him desieging. I especially won't like him desieging. Well, any fort really. Mush. Don't let him take that for free. I don't mind him taking those wee fortifications there. I mind him, uh, well, the unfortified ones rather. I mind him getting the forts back. This land is very rich, so it's worth my time splitting up and putting it under siege. And again, top tip that many don't know about and they see me doing it and ask how. You can deselect the lowest down list of these guys by pressing V. Combine that with clicking through provinces like this and you've got a way to send out a lot of armies to a lot of places. That should ma uh, get me a fair bit of war score on its own. 21%, defenders desert, excellent. What is for desert? <laughs> In a desert as well. All right, so here is a stat. Here are his stats. Way lower when it comes to morale. Better discipline, and this is the age of discipline mattering more than morale. But that's to uh, to a degree. I can still clean his clock. Mind you, that wasn't the strongest of armies. Let's head up there for a laugh. I need this admin for coring, sadly. There we go, nice chunk of war score from all of that. And suddenly he wants his peace. But, you know, we get ever closer to getting that dosh out of him. Maybe if I just clean up a few of his armies, he'll see things my way. Especially if these guys go and take more of these uh, fortifications. Any more forts down here to take? Yeah, there's Dang. And pretty much everything along the way. Come on, Timmy, give me a good fight. I've earned it. Or I could just step on your armies as I go across. You know what they say, if you see Dang, nab it. Uh, I don't think anyone says that, but I'll have to take your word for it. Mm, not liking this. It's a bad idea for me to run into such a dangerously large stack, even if I think I can beat him. So let's do a bit of a reach around here. Or, if he really wants to go that way... Hang on, what? How dare you? That was bad for me, I wasn't paying attention, clearly. I don't think my subjects are rebellious much at all. Yeah, it's all relatively fine. Unrestricted conquest is very tempting, but I think I will keep them super loyal. 
Shame I don't get special Montenegrin uh, Splendor abilities. Alright, they're getting out of there quite quickly. But they could turn around and slaughter me too. Uh, okay, there's a lot to look at here. I'm going to be there on the 28th. Many of those guys won't be out fast enough, but I'd like to take them down. Because it feels just right. have at. I don't know if he's going to reinforce. He can try. He certainly will. But this way I get a nice fight with him. What'll it be? I think it'll be me mopping the floor with you. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. He's coming on in. He's got quite a lot coming on in. My front line is gone. Oh no. That was not what was planned. Still, it was all distraction for me to take your fort and take your money to replenish those dead soldiers. Thank you, please, Timmy. Excellent. The borders get ever closer to being finalized, but we're in a risky situation when it comes to that personal union. Also, God, that's a lot of territories to have. Too many territories gonna cost me an arm and a leg here. Okay. 40 stack there. 40 stack much further back. The rest of you go, I don't know, over to there or something. Maybe there. Easier to find you. You guys are running away like the cowards you are. Disgrace to the motherland. And we'll send some of you back here. Good fight, Tim Tim. Let's never do it again. Oh, of course he hates me now. <laughs> yeah, the feeling's mutual, buddy. Okay, two main wars to fight left. One against Oirat and Ming, and one for the Kirills against Castile. Your entire line suffers from delusions of adequacy. Potentially. I mean, we really need that, uh, that air right about now. Actually, gonna stop counter espionage on you, stop improve relations with you, forget the spy network on you, break the royal ties only to remake the royal ties, because boy could I do with not being in a personal union between Sweden and or Castile. I'm making them hate me because I keep breaking royal ties, but I really need to get, uh, you know, anybody. No, we do these on my terms. Maybe stop killing your heirs for five minutes. That doesn't seem about right. I must demand perfection. Otherwise, what's the point of having children? Good God, what does it take? More than that, evidently. At least you're not infertile, but... Ooh, don't like that. You know, if I eradicated Sweden, I wouldn't have the risk of falling under them. Of course I could start a big war against uh, the Oirat. The Rat. We got three of these going. It's not that expensive. The army is far more expensive. Um, one way to look at it is that the Oirat could be blitzed before Timmy have, uh, before Ming even have a chance to pull their socks up. Which means I shouldn't bring everybody back home. In fact, given the nature of the fight that we're going to have, it would be more sensible to have them around here. But 
But every moment that ticks by makes me more worried that Aki's gonna pop his clogs and put me under that personal union. There is another fight I can always take just to make things a little easier on myself. No risk of personal union whilst I'm under that. It would put my mind at ease. But let's just live riskily. Risk. High risk life. What are the options for the campaign following this one? Asks Taciturn. There are a few options. There's Great Dane, where we play as Denmark, but we're not allowed to make any new cores, but we have to become number one great power and get rid of all the other great powers. And then there's You First, where we can only play in Tibet, but we have to raise all of India and China to be worse than Tibet. And then there's the other one. Ah yes, playing as Madagascar. Finally, got it. Don't let me down, I need that admin. Necessary evil. Well, we'll celebrate that five dip the only way I know how. This is so many people's worst nightmares, I'm sure of it. aren't exactly set up for blitzing you, but I do want it to be Holy War because then I just need to win a few battles and get the war score I need. You might think Imperialism, but no. Killer DJ will have that one taken nice and fast. You guys are already split up for sieging here, which is nice. You just go and push, push, push. Your ruler's 36, surely you won't die before producing a more buoyant eh, Buoyant. Dance that is, I didn't get a chance to rename that air. Well, I did, but I just passed it by. I'm going to recall you and just make absolutely sure that nobody's going to take over uh, the coastline here from me. There are many other colonies I wish to start, but I need a lot more admin for that. Oh man, Gobi's going down. Let's hope the Oirats are going down. For such a tiny country, the Oirats have 19, 20, 30, 40, 50. You're on 60k from this. It's just beggar's belief. That said, they die like all the rest. Lovely, it's done. Haha. <laughs> change culture around here, but no, it's all about the Serbs. Desert, 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 desert. Alright, well, I'll just take this guy over. We're probably running over to Egin. Head on down there. It's good for us to win the battles, of course. This war might not even take very long, especially since we're getting war score from battles. It might be the case that uh, we just finish off these occupations and that's the end of him. Then again, there's the Ming. My favorite guy. Not particularly well led, but better led than I'd like to deal with right now. Guys, just figure out whatever. Don't run face first into Ming cannons. Oh well, there we go. He already wants to give it up. 
that's handy because I'm not... Oh, that is sweet. Both of these are sweet, but I can't say no to admin right now. I'm just here for Gobi. There's no point in prolonging this war. Oh, yeah, the... the... No, we have an air. Excellent. And we're certain there's no other province we need here. Lovely. Will you be allowed to inherit cores from Passels in PU's Great Dane? Nope. Would you be allowed to form other nations when doing you first? Yes. I can form Tibet, for example. But that said, I probably won't, because it's nice to have the name you there. Uh, I don't want this province, by the way. Could you hold on to it, please? Mongolian People's Republic. Hmm, there's something not right. I don't use uh, periods in that. Oh, well. Too bad for them. Looking damn good. That means it's only you, you two, and the Kirills. And if my country could be nice enough not to have revolts, then we're in a great place. I'll leave you over here. And I'll leave you over there. As for you folks, with these guys taking care of lands here, all you folks gotta do is just get back, murder yourselves with attrition on the way there, And we're all good. Ah. Improve relations with subjects. They seem a bit uppy. Eh, well, Aki is a bit uppy. <laughs> he hates my guts, doesn't he? Yeah, probably because I kept breaking my uh, royal marriage with him. Well, it's not like I don't have the diplomats. Why don't we do exactly that? Diplomats on subjects. There you go. And they specifically don't do Wallachia. There you go, buddy. Good. Could core this stuff, but I'm not going to. I need the admin. I need it pretty badly. I'll spare the Lithuanians. Hang on, was the province of Memel always Lithuanian? I feel like it was not. Still don't feel like it was. No, it is always Lithuanian. Well, how about that? All right, we done good. We done good. Do I want the ruler dead now? God, it's nothing but two, two, two. Oh, it's bad. I need a lot more admin than we have right now. That almost does it for religious conversions in Polish People's Republic. That's nice. And dare I see the coalition not reforming? Oh, that's because the truces are not up yet. That'll change next... Um, next year. Castile's still in it. They really shouldn't be. The aggressive expansion on them is way down now. Could almost get Venice out of the air, I'm sure, if I just put some effort into it. Promote your admin advisor. Yeah, I have the money. He's a bit old, though. He's really old. Why don't I get this guy instead? He looks cheaper. I'm not going to promote him for that kind of dosh, though. Right, so, small matter of getting those Kirills. Castile is in the coalition against me. They have a laundry list of subjects. I think my best bet is to just holy war them, get the 40 war score from that, and then demand the island, because it can be demanded that way. A fort in Istra would serve well. I don't think so. They're going to come in anyway. I've got these two forts that are better set up for it. Istra may be marshland, but we've got gold. Not too shabby. Right, Twink, you've served me well, so I'm going to actually give you honourable discharge. Ah. Country's looking good. And I'm only 8 out of 7 on my uh, relations. 
I feel like that's gone down one. Oh, if I take that, it'll be 8 out of 8 at least. Sending aid to you, Wallachia. I admire you by uh, making sure that you know how strong you are. And you'll take care of your own stuff. <laughs> take care of your own revolts as well. I can do that. Alright, Venice truce is up. They're about to coalition me, no doubt. Oh, that's a lot of truces up. That's probably a lot of coalition to enjoy for a wee bit. I would be very surprised if they didn't trigger this, because it's going to be bigger and badder than the last one. I wonder if anybody wants to be my friend. Uh, I could get France, but that breaks the rules. I could get Great, Br uh, get Great Britain, but you know what they're like. Useless. Nope, Soviet bloc is strong and independent. We can hold out on our own. said hopefully we're puffing our chest out enough that people don't see the opportunity to attack us. Ah, oh, jeez. Those heretics are going to kill my... Uh... Oh, were they going to kill it? Oh, looks like they're not, but come on Polish PR. You can take them on, no doubt about it. Is France today even still the France that generated the need for that rule? No, but it's nice to have some arbitrary rule to follow. Otherwise, people jump on me for not following it. I can't be having that. I don't see a lot of use for public punishments right now. Not when I could be spreading more of the one true culture. Oh, they've teched up quite a lot since last time. Alright, these costs are ridiculous. Like, just come on. That's a ludicrously expensive uh, army of mine. Do I have any revolts to worry about? Just the Kievans. I have a feeling that uh, reducing the amount I'm spending on my army is going to make uh, people feel more inclined to declare war upon me as well. Thought we'd solved all of our... Ah, Scandinavia! It is time to take the Kirills. But, we're still a bit beaten and bloody from our previous wars. And did I mention the fact that I'm hemorrhaging money at some point? Because I'm hemorrhaging money. Hmm. Oh well, no next episode lark here. I want this done. Um... get access from Japan and walk over to the Kirills. That's probably the best way to do it. Let's make sure that I have boats available all over here for whenever I need to go to the Kirills. Just in case they blockade me on, say, here where all my boats are, I can still sail over from there. Uh, slight downside. Is, wow, we've got gems and gold here. Good land. Bunch up a little bit there. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of incursions here. So I'm actually going to pull you back and one of you. Actually, I'll move you down here. Kievan's right. You'd think they'd rise up in Kiva. You two, get over here. 
And it looks like we're switching out Icon again. Even though I liked my relations going to good places. There we go. Yeesh. Here we go again. The numbers are significantly larger than last time. 800,000 infantry. All right, pretty much a million foot troops and half a million cannons. Jake, disable some forts you don't need. That seems like a bad idea given the war. But what I could do is actually delete some forts that I don't need. Some that are just standing out there in lands that are never going to revolt. Hmm. Still want to get these conversions going despite the cost. Right. How's this going to go then? I need to get my war score from battles pretty badly. Uh, oh, God. This doesn't look good, does it? Because it's not good. The numbers they're going to throw at me are out of this world. Well, still need to win the battles. So I want my subjects to take it easy. Use edicts for manpower? Nah. You could probably use it and then slam the manpower button for loads of stuff and then unslam it, but that sounds like a lot of micro for not a lot of uh, gain. Okay, get together in somewhere with high supply limit, like the Hungarian lands, and be ready to win some battles. Got nobody up here to defend us. I feel like I have fewer stacks. Right, I missed you, didn't I? Go and destroy those Venetians. And then head up. Oh, there's you as well? Well, that's convenient. Win the battles, win the war. Take the Kirills. I only need a couple thousand over on the Kirills. But hopefully I don't attract too much Castilian attention there. I might do. Their subjects will probably come in and do some nasty things to me. And we will group our armies up together here. I have a lot of war exhaustion reduction still. So we're good on that front. And I'm still Defender of the Faith. And I'm still going to crush those Austrians. Just like I'm crushing these Venetians. All day, every day. Get the war score rolling. If they're going to pour in a lot of reinforcements, then I'll take extra measures, but it doesn't look like they are. Should just be able to crush them all. Tuscany are honouring their alliance with Castile. Why is Castile getting to bring in, uh, bring in allies? Oh, right. They're honouring Castile's alliance in another war. I am not at war with Tuscany. And whoever else was there. Come on, subjects. Don't cost me battles like that. Please. Great. Get those cores in whilst it matters. Where are your cannons? Oh, snap, I gotta stop doing that. I keep hitting the button that is remove cannons from your uh, your army there. Um, yeah, I should be able to wipe these guys out. They'll be tired. Idea point available. Yes, there is, and that will save us a little bit of depth going along. Good, come on, come all. Give me those battles, battles, battles. It's all war score. And an opportunity to chase down and destroy Castilians is great, but let's hold fire for a little bit. If I exhaust my armies too fast, then bad things. You guys march over. You guys march over. Good. My treasury marches south. That is not good. And of course, you're not going to give me any decent contribution till 57. Can't hold this out forever, but we are at the end of the game, so it wouldn't be the worst of things to actually uh, check in the generals here. 5-3 or 3-6. Don't want to lose Nitra. 
but I don't want to take part in such a doomed battle. Not doomed, but it could easily go not well for me. Got nothing defending up there, which is gash. Extra colonist idea, that's one more idea away, sadly. But I do want it, no doubt about that. Mush, get them killed. Fear not the reinforcement. Have the reinforcements fear you. Might actually march in there. Have you provide uh, overseeing of it. And yeah, let's eradicate the Muslims. Okay, so they are wanting to reinforce that. They are really wanting to reinforce that. Hopefully I wipe you guys out fast enough, and then they all just come in piecemeal. Feed me, war score. Feed me. There we go, Scandinavian's getting a few things here and there. Now all I need or want out of this war is the Kirills, which is a shame because it doesn't give me a lot of uh, truce time with the enemies, but... Hey, they want to come and strike me again and again? Go for it. I shouldn't be getting a lot of um, a lot of aggressive expansion out of this. And all the while it ticks away. Although the guys that have multi-hundreds of it aren't going to forgive me. Maybe Scandinavia will someday. fight the uh, Scandinavians in such a beneficial fight for them and I can't get there fast enough to intercept but we'll see what's going on with them aha they want to help out there then I do want to screw them there so many battles but just like I said feed me war score If you want to go in there, then I want to intercept you. There are so many of them. Jesus. Not entirely sure this is uh, great for me. Yeah, some of these I am doomed to lose. Well, this one I'm doomed to lose. Let's take a step back to Prague. Well, you win some, you lose some. Jeez, I am putting the sum in that losing. Yeah, the numbers I'm left with out of this is pretty savage. Still, I'm getting that from battles, just not doing occupations, which is a shame. But, uh, yeah, they're puffing their chests out. Slamming them, too. You guys at the Kirills, please try to take the Kirills. And try not to get intercepted as well. If you get killed, that's on you. Reinforcements are coming, not very fast, but they're coming. I'll get them over to Krakow, actually. Seems more direct. have you around here so that I can try to maul these isolated units. They're not that isolated though. Dang, they like to pick on my poor subject here. Yeah, that was four war score just insta-gibbed. Well, he really wants to go over to no tech. He's going for no tech. Save Merv. And have another big battle on my hands that I could really do without. But if I chase them out of here, then I'll be able to take Lorraine out, hopefully for good war score. Oh, that's pretty swell. That's pretty swell. Excellent. All wins, you're good at what you do. March on with the advance. Add to the numbers so they don't think about reinforcing it. Take the victory and keep moving. 
Mm, wasn't a lot because it was a small-ish stack that we wiped out there, sadly. Unfortunately, he could press on, start taking forts and cutting into me. I am getting ticking war score now, but this is early days. The war started this year. Yikes. Oh well. To take my mind off things, let's eradicate some Muslims. And I don't know why he would even think about reinforcing that. There we go, I just think about smoking the the war score. Whew. Yeah, long way from peace. That coalition war minus 30 hurts me for uh, quite a lot. How are we? Oh, okay, we're on the Kirills. Hopefully we can stay on the Kirills. Because I need to be I need to have it occupied in order to actually take it in the war. And I do want it. Oh, what's that? You want to fight? That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. The thing is, the enemies can force march around pretty slick as well. But, as long as I hoover up that war score, it all works in my benefit. And the fact that I can force march without cost helps keep things just peachy for me. Iberians. Uh, they want the advantageous fight in the woods, so I'll give them an advantageous fight in the woods. Yeah, they're not liking that. Hold on, hold on. That actually didn't look so good given the numbers. Okay. They have a lot of morale on their side. But I've got a lot better discipline, apparently. Is that really my discipline? Yes, because I got the Inspirational Leader event. How could I forget? There we go. Keep that war score flowing. And keep me not remembering if it's uh, 50 or 40 or 60 war score. You need to get rid of the Coalition War Malice. Jake, you're not playing Naxus anymore. I, I know, I haven't played Naxus in quite some time. Oh, crumbs, look at that. S Scandinavians. Get in there, get them killed. It's definitely 50, says Tibbs. Thank you. Getting 50 war score is not so easy when I'm not getting the occupations. In fact, I'm the one getting occupied. So although I have 35 war score here, unless I start getting some nice forts, which I could, you know, I could take uh, the Austrian capital. That would help out quite a bit. I also need to not lose my own forts and crumbs. That's exactly what they're working on. Well, looks like I have to march my way up there, sadly. But we will defend them. Okay, I'm actually going to make a job on Vienna. I'm just going to chuck what I have at Vienna. Get it down fast, get that extra bit of war score on my side. I need to clear that minus 30 coalition war if I'm ever going to have hope at getting the Kirills out of this. I also need the Kirills not to fall, of course. Of course. See things like Nitra falling. Nitra is costing me how much? I'm sure it's there somewhere. Well, there's a dot 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 minus 3.2. Let's just say it's under that. Get five more from war score and a whole bunch more from ticking, but I gotta hold out for that ticking war score. So, yeah, I think it's a worthy investment to take Vienna. Oh, that's some beaten up units of mine, that's not good. 
but as long as I can take this fort. Uh, who's our best sieger right now? All wins us. Alright, spread out a little bit. think they can take me there. They're sending in everyone they've got. Oh boy, they're sending in everyone they've got. Yeah, I can't. I can't fight against those kind of numbers. Get back to Vienna. Hold that instead. It's a shame to lose a battle, but... Battles can be won later on. Can you dissolve the HRE for the hell of it in this war? Eh... I feel like the answer is no. The Dutch are not involved. And I can't start any wars against the Empire because I'm at war with the Emperor. Not that I'm fussed about the, uh, the HRE in this war at all. Sure, it's gotten in our way in a number of ways, but eh, eh to that. Okay, don't like this. They're making far too good progress here. Also, those cannons of mine are against regulation and also likely to die if I leave them there. Right, this is down. Um, who's the best out of you? Ilko, Olwens, Muley, Muley. Muley's already got a big stack. Olwen's... No, Ilko's getting the extras. Alright, I think we're just going to travel as one here. Slaughter anyone you can. They should be too scared to join in. White Karelia fell? Okay, good, it wasn't what I thought it was. Take that, and then liberate that. Double time it, and I'm going to give you... Shalui. Okay. This is not... <laughs> it's not a sustainable war for me here. No way, no how. My units are battered, unfortunately. I'm not sure I'd be able to dislodge them from Vienna. But they'd be stuck on Vienna for at least a little bit, so maybe I can just waltz around the place? Or do I go straight in? Going straight in when I'm this battered seems suicidal. I'll hold out here. The attrition is high, sure, but at least I keep my eye on the situation and I don't delve into such problems. Get out of here, Scandinavians! I feel like there's a saying about it being all out of gum here that would work, but... Oh man, this is chugging. Of course it is. All of Europe's at war with me. All of the New World is at war with me too. Alright, I see my opportunity. I'm going to try to slaughter these Venetians. They are disgustingly well led though. Maybe I'll take out the likes of those Swiss first. Uh oh. Did he just assault that? I thought he did. But he did not. He may still assault it after me moving away though. There we go, just hold out there for a bit. Slaughter the discount Scandies. Yeesh. That coalition war, if that wasn't there, then we'd probably be able to make it. That means I need 10 war score. Unfortunately, I have all my war score from battles, so I need to get ticking war score or make some occupations. Occupations don't come easy, though. Okay, those are the rebels we were expecting. Just not in the place we were expecting. Go march up and kick their ass. Wait, what's Killer DJ doing over there? You are far too good to be on that. Have, um... To have our glorious king. These units are getting slaughtered. My units, that is. They're, they're getting way too attritioned. I don't think they'll be able to hold out in this forever.
I just hope he doesn't reinforce the battles, because that tells me he has yeah, confidence in winning them. Just what I could do without, because I'm just taking massive losses here. And he just keeps pouring and pouring in. Ugh. And I'm not even getting war score out of this. I don't even think that's the best place for me to go there. I need my reinforcements badly. Look at that, down to 15 out of 40,000. Oh, there's a problem. Prague is down too. Hmm. Olwyn's try to retake Prague. You guys hold out in uh, this province, please. It should be a 10 to 1. Oh, Crumb's not with you there. Get out of the way! Okay, infantry shock upgrade, please. We'll get ourselves our new highly shocking units. Even though shock isn't really what we deal in these days. Man, I need to get that plus 50 war score. Um, I can retake Prague and then I need to target the softest forts there are. That looks like Castle and Ravensburg. Anything for war score at this point. I mean, what's uh, Vienna getting me? <laughs> Two war score. Don't forget the 80,000 in Scandiland. Yeah, kind of need them to defend this. Or else they can spill into my country. Do they really think they want to take me in Prague? Can't believe these guys. They still want to take me in Prague. Okay, well, their funeral. Hopefully. They are so much better equipped than the previous war because they have so many more uh, allies coming in. Almost a million foot troops. If I haven't slaughtered all the other ones, there'd be so many more. I said it before, I will say it again. This is not a sustainable war for me. Couldn't be much less of a sustainable war for me. Those walls down. I need Prague back. What's Prague actually costing me here? It's a lot of development, so... Prague is 2.3 war score lost. Good God, get out of my hair! I mean, I'm killing them, sure, but it's not to say I'm not taking losses. Lots and lots of losses. Jesus. Since Scandi is leader, you could grab his province if willing. Yeah, but with who? With what army? Saragrad. Not in a position to be dealing with that right now. Okay, you guys. The Kazakis in at a Kent. Wish to rise up. I don't wish them to rise up, and I do wish to have some extra units to, dis uh, to defend us here. So you get over there. You guys get down here. God damn, Prague. Uh oh. This, this is slideshow territory, this, uh, this war. Also, anybody notice my money dwindling away? Because I sure do. Hmm. This is Castile when they're busy fighting France and slaughtering them. Oh, by the way, no more uh, Turks in Tsarograd, as it should be. Do 
You know what? War tax is a pretty great idea. That saves a whole bunch of dosh. Okay, man, they're back again. Please no. Please stop piling into Prague. I need to reinforce. Oh no. Ooh, that's a bad time for Commandant to die. I could actually do with reinforce speed more than most things. And reinforce speed at this point is going to be very helpful. Jake, remove the fleet for money. The fleet is not what's costing me here. Fleet maintenance, two. Hmm. Yeah, the army is costing pretty much everything. Alright, I need to defend Vienna here. Defend Vienna, retake Nitra, go for a couple of forts and we can win, but that means that we need all of our existing forts to hold. Every month that passes, or rather every three months that passes by, we get another tick of war score from, uh, from killing so many people. Unfortunately, every tick of the month that we are not reinforcing, we get weaker and weaker. Get out of here, you scumbags! Killer DJ, I need you here to take back Nitra as fast as possible. Ah, good, you guys are here. Go down, add to the numbers. Whoops. Double whoops. Well, shatter them. Uh-oh. Missed that, didn't we? Missed that as well. Hum. You gotta hold. Need to defensiveness up in all of these places because I keep uh, getting jumped on. Okay. 50 war score and we win the war. Take Nitra, grab one or two other forts. Don't let any of our current forts fall. That's all we gotta do in the face of a million and a half men. Nitra shouldn't need barraged. Shouldn't. Oh god, Prague's already on its way down again? Ah. Took us forever just to take it back. Please keep it in our hands. You go and retake that and come back, please. Don't like that reinforcement that they're doing. You head up, stay closer to them. At the point, I don't, I'm not even happy sending in an 80 stack. I need everything in to dissuade extra reinforcements from arriving. God, if Vienna could just, you know, get its act together. Come on, kick those Scandies out of here. should take that. You guys take a step back. Alright, well, he doesn't want to be there anymore. Okay, what can I siege down for a mega war score but is not highly defended? Still thinking Ravensburg's an, uh, an ideal opportunity. In addition to Warsburg. Or no, it was Castle, right? Yeah, Castle. Send everything we got. If I get these, and I mean I get these on the double, we can win this. Get the hell off of my forts! We're getting there.
This is why I put a fort in Hum. Get out of here, Aragon. And yeah, my subjects gotta fend for themselves in these trying times. Oh, actually, you're in uh, close enough proximity to go and grab those cannons back. That cannon of yours. Absolutely no mucking around to take that fort. No matter the cost. Get those scumbags out of here. Blow those walls down. Maul it. Uh-oh. That could be a, a bad thing. I see those Scandinavians. Did they prevent my seat, uh, my assault there? Interesting. Oh, that's not interesting. Screw off Austria. There we go. That's 50 war score if ever I saw it. Paltry, absolutely paltry. Just one crummy province. But we said we'd stick to Soviet borders, so one province is all I'm allowed. There we go, he doesn't have the minus 30 anymore. And I get a staggering six year truce with this coalition of death. Lovely. I can't even take one bit more. Excellent! That was the last fight against an actual enemy that we needed to uh, take the last province. Ooh. Now let's just clean up on these, uh, on these bozos. The sooner I can get unrestricted conquest, the sooner I can just eat these guys up and uh, maybe even not have to fight another war. What about Corfu and Crete? Those are never Soviet. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, it's King Louis 37. King hasn't got a clue 37. Alright, good job guys. Let's get back to our country. And relax a bit. Maybe not pay our troops so much. Maybe get some manpower back. Yeesh, I am not looking forward to having more of those wars. I need to get rid of the coalition. Castile will be out of it. Um, the Germans will still be in it, I think. Ah, Venice, we have a chance to get out. But this means I need to switch once again to St. Nicholas to get that better improved relations. And if we have an improved relations guy here as well. Oh, he's expensive. He's very expensive. Oh well, everything's bloody expensive in this country. At least we shouldn't have to pay for these forts, though. There we go, that's money. Whew. Two million people died over a few crappy islands in Japan. It's been known to happen. Oh man, I really, really need to seal this province off. Holy war against Japan. You know what, let's improve relations with Japan in case they get any funny ideas as well. I'm going to recall you and send you over here, and then that's everything completely secure. Nowhere else they can get in. Wonderful. Oh! And since we took the Kirills, we can found our East Indian Trading Company. Own one port in India, China, Japan, or East Indies. Glorious Montenegrin East India Company. Plus one merchants, plus some money. That merchant's the real uh, the real windinger here. I'm gonna collect in Novgorod to get 10% more Dosh. I'm finally gonna upgrade Novgorod there a bit. Yeah, all the death's suddenly worth it. People know not to mess with this block. What a fight. What a goddamn fight. Hmm. 
Well, at least I can get back to fighting heresies. Wipe out my own... Um, no, wipe out my own Muslims. Oh god, the Kirills. Yeah, of course they were Christian. It was taken over by Castilians. Eww. Just don't revolt on me, alright? There, think happy Serbian thoughts. Force March is still on on one of the stacks. Thank you. Not a big deal, but thank you. We don't pay mill forks, we took the bonus. And I should be able to lump all of my uh, my boats together now. Oh. What a huge relief. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, even though our country is so huge, we're so incredibly poor. The Ottomans... Well, actually, let's get an idea of just how poor we are. Let's look at uh, countries. All of them. Check by income. Look at us. We're down here. We're under the Timurids, Castile, Ottomans, and GB has more than double our income. And let's look at armies as well. Yeah, Castile, Portugal, Ottomans, Britain, all far above us. Not only is that very hard mode, that's just us having a terribly laid out country. Have you ever wondered why the Soviet Union fell? Maybe lose Greece in the next war to bleed aggressive expansion? Nah, I'm not too afraid of this. Um, without Castile getting involved, without Venice there... They lose a lot of their luster. I know, Scandinavia doesn't hate us that much. Well, that's assuming Venice get out of this, but I think we might be able to get them out. Although I would really benefit from having a good ally in the next uh, coalition war. Someone like Ming. Hey Ming, you want to be friends? Nah. Nah, Montenegrin bloc needs no East Asian allies like that. Well, one big uh, boon for me, though, was that France was getting licked. I want those extra states, that'll be good. Calm down on the uh, too many territories malice that we have. Okay, with all of this being done in, I want to glue my country together. And I want to do lots of uh, colonies. I can certainly do more than I have right now. Sino-Soviet relations should improve. Yeah, I should keep them on my good side. There, nothing in red other than what we've grabbed. Which means it should, in theory, be Speed 5 colonization game. Unless the Euros get real mad at me. But why would they get mad at me? Glad I kept France out of that coalition. Glad we kicked Ottomans out of the coalition. Cribbins imagine that. Yeah, I'm not taking Cuba, I'm not taking Alaska. Those were considered, but they were later considered stupid, so no. Alright, if I'm taking these provinces, I should definitely have units standing on them. And I should pay my people just a little bit so that they don't get uh, trounced by guys with pointy sticks. Muley, after many hard European wars, has finally decided to take a probably not very voluntary retirement. Oh yeah, since I have Samarkand here, I really should be transferring that away. Up to Astrakhan, where I have total domination. I wonder if I could use my Novgorod guy and get more in from that. Well, it's 11 bucks. Okay. And I can afford to get all these conversions done. I might as well do the conversions now because we've already had the revolts. 
around here. So it gives us 10 years of relative impunity on it. France came out of that quite unscathed. Lucky guys. If Castile wanted you dead, you'd be dead. So just chill out, Scandinavia. You too, Venice. Well, especially you, Venice. That truce is dangerously short. It's going to be up in four years. Feels great. Just great. Uh, that's right. There aren't many, many people there, but that doesn't mean I should just freely hand the province over to you. Um, these guys aren't doing a whole lot, but there are still people that surely want to rise up there. Let's bring you over. But let's also recall you, because I want to, as I said, link my country together. Do we need Kamchatka? Yeah, we need Kamchatka. And that's what these guys are here to do. They're going to invade Kamchatka. Uh, but I'm going to wait until I have Unrestricted Conquest, which is very close, because then I'm going to take Shav Shivani. Surely nobody's going to fight Kamchatkals and annex that province away from me when I'm not looking. So I'm not concerned. I am, however, enjoying this cap. Uh, I will actually tech up here a wee bit. I was tempted to just do more cultural enrichment, but I'll I'll hold off for the time being. Yeah, Chav Shivani. We did a Chavs campaign as them a long, long time ago. The whole, whole thing is chugging because uh, wars involving Castile mobilize so many AIs right now. Bit of a crying shame, honestly. Someday we'll get around to doing conversions for the DDR, but that day ain't today. I'll have to convert uh, Prague as well. Prague being only a level 2 fort cost me quite a bit there. For some reason it took me forever to desiege it, but the enemies were sieging it way too quickly. Patriarch authority, you say? Yeah, we'll keep it up. It's kind of handy in many ways. So now my two colonists are there. But given it's only 18, I feel like I could support another colony. We need to blitz through these after all. So I'm going to recall you and stick you over here. Yeah, because then we can reach Chav Shivani. Kirill's done, as we knew they would be. And not in any hurry to revolt. As we knew they would be. I'm going to bring these four over here, and these ten back up, so that they can deal with the uh, the Shav Shivanis. I feel for them, I do, since I played as them. But they've got to go for the greater good of the Montenegrin bloc. get everybody fully reinforced. This reinforcement cost is unnecessarily uh, taking too long. And just in case there's our unrestricted conquest, we start the war and we end the war. Now your only ally is Shav Shivani. Then they're both going down. Imperialism. Poor guys. Poor, poor guys. All winds take him down. Oh. Killer DJ have that, and then when we can I'll take Aldan as well. 
just wipe out all the AIs so nothing is left to chance. Oh, that's, that's a shame. He's gonna be left as a rebel scum there if I don't take care of take care of my trash. Whew. Okay, that does solidify it. This campaign will be ending tonight. I wouldn't have wanted to prolong it a second time after saying we were done uh, done previously. There we go. Total annihilation. Glacial land, what a... what rubbish land. I've got these two stacks, but I feel like I should keep a 40 stack here-ish. And here-ish. Just in case I get random uh, events that spawn rebels. Since I have aristocratic ideas, that's more than possible. Hmm. It's good to be on top. And I'm still definitely short one bit of colonization. Let's keep it going. Let's get you done. Ah. Probably the fastest wars we've had all game. We've had some real slow burners. Let's get the two of you over there, get that cord up. And I don't want to hear anything about revolts around here. I mean, this isn't exactly crushing my absolutism, nor do I particularly need high absolutism anymore. Nothing left to core? Eh. Nothing left to core. How are we looking on this one, actually? Far too many territories, and we're going to have even more when we do all this uh, colonization. But when I finish off both my ideas and this, I'll get 10 extra states, and then I will completely eradicate too many... Uh, too many territories. Good. Kirills won't revolt on me. I'm not going to release Greece and Hungary just yet because I do feel that in one year the angry coalition might still form against us. Venice is just about out though. In fact, Venice should be completely out by next year. Which is just as well, because next year's when the truce is up. And then, do we think we would have a coalition of Swaziland, Austria, Bavaria, Hanover, and Scandinavia? If we do, it's the last one they'll ever do. Switzerland can't be that mad. Let's let's have them see the funny side of what we've done. Yeah, the game's chugging like crazy. Late game. Uh, do we even have wars going on? Uh, this is it. Friendly, hostile current wars, so what would be chugging it? Probably the British and the French. Both of them being mobilized mobilizes quite a few people across the world. But it's not nearly as chugging as when we were at war. Okay, great, there we go. Loads of trade power. Loads of policies, I didn't even consider that. We got any that speeds up our um, colonization? Construction, attrition, da 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 That is a solid no, I'm afraid. Any of these we could actually give up, though. Yeah. I love war exhaustion reduction, but we don't need it, nor do we need extra... Um, extra military abilities. Glorious. Just... Glorious. Jake and Proof with Outraged Nations? Eh, we're fine.
What I should really be doing is making sure that I have counter espionage on all of those that are my rivals. That includes you, Timmy. And who else? Castile. Lovely. How's the Serbian culture looking? Oh, glorious. Just glorious. It's slowly spreading into Moskva. Uh, I agree, it's looking a bit hideous that these Ryazanians are probing into our nation as they do. Let's have good borders, even for culture. Yeah, I think we can handle that. It's taking a bit, but uh, wholesale separatism's getting in the way. But soon it won't. might take a disappointingly long time to take care of some of these guys when it comes to Serbian, but this will become Serbian, no doubt about it. The culture we desire. I'm, I'm not sure if that's true, game. I'm not sure if it's the culture we truly desire. Seldom has there been a moment in this campaign that hasn't been pure struggle. But we've come out swinging. And again, this has been a one-shot. Uh, that's colonists, but where are colonies? Oh right, there are colonies. If I have five, then that's a fine number. If you get more than five, that cost starts skyrocketing. I'll admit, though, it's a little bit tempting to kill one of the idea groups that I have and take exploration to get that extra colonist just to speed things up. Don't know what I'd kick out, though. I may still need my military ideas. Truces are up. Now let's see who joins the coalition against us. Hanover. Get rid of all of this and see who it is. Hanover, Scandinavia, Mecklenburg, Austria. Venice can't, because they don't have 50 aggressive expansion. Everyone will see the funny side soon enough. <laughs> well, if they really want to do it again... Do you need a conquistador to re uh, reveal those incognita provinces? No, uh, they will be revealed slowly but surely as I uh, as I get the colonies next to them. Right, let's not accidentally abandon colonies here, but since one of them is almost done, I can recall one of you. Yeah, I can recall you, and then take another province. Take a chance, take a chance. It's hard to know which ones I truly want to do. How should we fill this one in? Thinking about it, I wouldn't mind it. Mm. Right, we should go for the center here so that there's no provinces that we're completely unable to get to. So we'll go there. As in, let's say that we do it like this. We might reach a point where we're gated on time for taking the center one there. Not that time will be a problem, right? We can get these uh, colonized as quickly as she comes. And I don't think any of these are particularly well populated, so I'll also split you guys up. 40 stack in the middle of Siberia? Yeah, it's just there in case we have any kind of revolts around the area. Don't want to eat any of that, personally. Oh god, Samarkand and Kujand are going to be tough pills to swallow. Now, I'm still eating too many territories but I can at least calm down on five of them. I'm not too fussy about what I go for. Uh, if anything, I probably just want this to become full-on... Um, yeah, full-on. Good use of words, Jake. Just so it looks a bit less bad on the, on the map mode. That's all I'm really thinking. There we go. 
Right, I was thinking about the ideas, but I never actually did one. Um, I wouldn't take Diplomatic or Influence away, and I can't take Expansion. So, eh, Religious, but that makes me convert the uh, cultures cheaper. Aristocratic is actually tempting to dismiss. But again, since we have war potentially on the horizon, did the Netherlands just join the coalition? How? How did I cheese off the Dutch so much? Let's improve their improve their relations. I can't help but feel that they might actually do it. Their odds are worse than last war, but there's still a lot of them, sire. Switzerland, though, are not joining in. And I could make sure they don't join in with a little bit of telling Frankfurt that I hate their guts. Then they find it kind of funny. And then they stay out of here. Whew. How did you cheese off the Dutch so much? By insulting them every chance you get. Every single chance. Alright, recall you and... Gee, I don't know. Sent there, I guess. Oh, we ignored the colonization for a long time, and that's good. I honestly think taking this land earlier would have weakened us. Too many garbage bits of land that wouldn't have really served us. And defense in depth wouldn't be very good since we need to actually win the wars, not just lose them less badly. But we did. We won those wars. At great personal expense. Another one done. Goody goody. These are. Uh, these are getting dealt with nice and fast. I shouldn't really have 10 stacks around here, should I? I should get the two of you together like so. And if I want to have little units of two, then I should make little units of two. Isn't that the hard limit? The AI can't join a coalition if they have positive opinion. No, the AI can't join a coalition if they're not outraged, and you won't be outraged if you have a uh, positive opinion. This is just for joining. If they're already in, then uh, that's a different story altogether. Which means you can actually get their relations above zero, but if they remain outraged, they'll still join, because they recalculate their opinion roughly once a month. Well, more like once every 20 days or so. There's an AI tick for that. All these countries doing all their little things shouldn't really bother us much. We've done our part. Guess it means I don't really have to focus on admin anymore. I can focus on dip, but we already kind of have focusing on dip with you there. Okay. I need to do quite a bit more against the Dutch. I could influence their nation for loads of money. I'm not that keen on getting them out of this coalition, but it might be... No, I'm not spending that kind of money on the Dutch. To hell with that. They'll, they'll see the funny side soon enough. Warm. I should really keep the sound clip for Declaration of War upon me just so I can play it when people are not paying attention. Of course, I can't help but feel that the AI is going to be the one playing it for me soon. I might get lucky. Is there a province up there? I think there is. Too fussed about having expensive anything here. 
Uh, maybe just core up everything that we uh, that we did, just to not have all these gaps in the country. Oh, need yet more admin. Oh, that'll be taken care of. And I can get rid of the too many... I don't have it at all. How are we looking here? Nice. And yes, we have a Petrovic air. The line stays relatively stable. Thank goodness. Oh. Well, that's a nice thing. The, um, the natives eat so much attrition here they can't take care of my, uh, my province. Good. Good, a move. Wait, where's that colonist? I thought I just recalled him. Maybe I can't recall when it's under siege. Much better. Kind of hard to see the provinces now. that we got coal here or have we always had coal here looks like we have got a furnace in it ah. excellent even the capital Yaroslav has become full-on uh, Serbian the only Russians that remain are those in Moscow and they're being chased out who really counts the Ryazanians and the Belarusians and the Ruthenians as Russians not this guy If I'd insulted um, Netherlands' rival, it would help with relations, but I'd need a bit more. Maybe if I give it a few years. Unless I could also offer them something like, uh, nah, forget it. Forget it. Base tax in Kosovo. Oh, yes. These uh, colonizations are actually going along a whole lot faster than I had anticipated. What a lovely problem to have. Could you please show your Diplo screen? Do you mean this screen? Or this? We've got a lot of Diplo things going on. Uh, I'm just so relieved. Alright, welcome. Oh. Welcome to your swimming lesson. I know they had it where it counted, but I need to demand perfection or else people won't take me seriously. Okay, the coalition's really losing steam. Scandinavia almost uh, ran out of aggressive expansion with me. sure that all the subjects are happy with us. Of course they are. And I should probably celebrate by dumping points into Zeta. It's done so much for us. And give it a uh, give it a new building. All started in Zeta and despite all the wars we never lost our former capital. All this dip. Come on there's only one thing I can do with so much dip. That is spread good news. Oh, I cannot resist. Darren's actually going to be a bit of a problem for that, but there we go. Complete Serbian saturation. I will release Serbs into the atmosphere. Jake, convert your vassals. I have been forgetting to do that. I was just so excited at having uh, all this other stuff done. None of them having revolts there. Good. Then I just focus on... Yeah, Prague needs to be done. Expensive, I know, but still needs to be done. 
And is there anyone other than the Dutch? Oh no, there's still some others. Ah, of course, I haven't focused at all on North Korea. Or the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. But they seem to have not had any con uh, any problems at all. No revolts, no need to divert any resources down there. That's a good satellite state. 982 Diplo down the drain. Look, if it's to bring more Serbians to the world, is it really down the drain? Okay, it would be really nice, Scandinavia, if you got out of that coalition. Next year you should have too few aggressive expansion to be there. Mm. Ah, let's just take it from the top, I guess. Really, there's not a lot left to it. I don't know what else you'd be expecting. I'm going to fill in these blanks. I'm not going to leave a job half done. And that is it. We will marvel over what it took to get us here. Probably watch the replay of how it grows again and again, because I'm very satisfied with this campaign. Playing on very hard mode has a lot of risks with it. Not least of all, you could be in Reset City for some time if, say, it was our... Um, what was that run that we did around here? Yeah, Manipur. Or what was that video, like EU4 takes revenge on DDR Jake? Yeesh. You can be in Reset City, things can go really grim even after 100 years. Um, and worst of all, the late game could be a real slog. See these fights that we've had for coalitions? That's fine, because I only need to do it for one province. But if this goal was to, I don't know, take over all of Germany... Oh, the slog. That's why I try to avoid uh, campaigns that are about huge amounts of conquest. Uh, and certainly world conquests. People go, do world conquest as XYZ, or you've reached your goal, now world conquest. I just go, oh, hell no. You do not know what you're talking about. I've done plenty of world conquests. I don't need to do any more. Oh, I will release Hungary, but uh, we'll wait until the coalition subsides. Because they are still kind of breathing down my neck here. It looks so pathetic, right? And uh, even on very hard mode, this would be a pathetic coalition. But our country's just so damn weak. Sweet. Get converting, plebs. Oh boy, the Serbians have taken root in the farthest of east. I need to get these conversions done so that the Serbians completely melt together there. Go. Grow, you bastards. More and more colonies, please. Actually, I'm running out of places to stick my units here. Huh. Oh well. That's why I'm surprised you'd want to do true Heir of Timur and very hard, Jake. With no absolutism and no time, Snowball it feels obscenely hard. It would be obscenely hard, but at least it's early game very hard. Where, you know, a nation is going to have 50% more, uh, more of an army than you'd expect on normal mode. Not uh, end game very hard, where they have about 300% more of an army than you'd expect, and bottomless pockets with which to fund it. That's why VH becomes a real slog in the end game. I find very hard mode in the early game is super exciting, whereas the late game it's more like, ugh. Normal, it's kind of the other way around. The early game, it's really malleable. That's not to say it's not fun, but it's nowhere near as challenging. Whereas in the late game, it kind of feels like the plan comes together nicely. And I find that uh, very satisfying. Whereas with very hard mode, often your plan is just, oh, less of a slog now. But maybe that's just because I'm really bad. Don't, uh, don't play down that possibility. Ah, feels nice to clean up my subjects like this. They've been through a lot. We all have. Ooh, 
flying battery, the ultimate form. No, I don't want to accidentally abandon anything here. Alright, that's where it all ends, huh? Okay, well, let's try and ensnare these uh, Terra Incognita provinces. They will be unveiled randomly. Never like to put things down as randomly, but I don't know when they actually get unveiled. I swear I've happened. I've seen it happen immediately, and I've seen it ha uh, happen after what feels like forever. The culture we desire. <laughs> Nobody desires this. I'm glad we actually went out to get Guria and cars. Early on I said there's no way I'd take these provinces, but I've had some convincing people tell me that it is indeed Soviet land. As Soviet as Finland. We've got the free uh, the free guy here. These provinces are pretty free to grab, but I'll send you there. Just trying to get adjacent to all the provinces that I can, so that we're not uh, we're not stuck waiting on depth. Oh, alas, some may have to burn. Swedish officers? No, no, I don't think so. They're probably just spies. Well, speaking of, Sweden, you want to get out of my hair? Good enough. Call you bare minimum, because it's a bare minimum good enough for me here. This is why, well, this is part of the reason why I'm recalling my um, colonists so quickly. They take forever to get to their destination, so waiting uh, waiting any longer than need be is a waste. Besides, we get so much from spread here. It far outclasses the new settlers' uh, increase. Just get everything we can. And there we go, we're unveiling things instantly once we get the cores next to them. That's good. And this is nice because we're powering through the time, we're also getting all of our glorious cultural enrichment done. Why can't I do these? Because of building and building. Well, they won't be building forever. Okay, and some people thought we wouldn't have the time to do this campaign. How long do you have Wallachia as your vassal? Uh, we'll look through milestones like that when we go through the time. Uh, oh, nice, got Switzerland out when we go through the time lapse. University of Echibustas. Wow, let's let's listen to our conservative friends. Not scared of uh, any Wallachian problems. Hey, they upgraded this to a level eight fort. Not nearly enough sieging happened in Wallachia's forts. They always went for the Wallachia's capital, which was a shame for me. Ooh. Bring on the good events at long last. <laughs> now they're building a counting house. Come on, subjects, I'm trying to help you here. Jake, so someone just joined the coalition. No, they didn't. Why would they join the coalition? Don't be daft. Mm 
by the way, Frankfurt, I really, really don't like you. There we go. Actually, that's still not going to be enough with you, is it? Well, it's no coalition that I fear. Scandinavia is on their way out. Hopefully. I've been itching for another Jake Horde run too, says King Slime. Well, uh, if you want that, you might want to go and vote for you first as the next campaign. Because I have a feeling that one might be hoarding it up. Where are these guys? Come on, I need to recklessly throw down more colonies. Not enough colonies right now. Let's fill in these blanks. I don't like don't like seeing these. Do, 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 do. Will you build the Iron Curtain with those 14,000 ducats? Where would we even have the Iron Curtain? I suppose I'd have to do it in my subjects here, completely stop anybody from passing through this. You know what, why don't my subjects have better fortifications? Let's do this. Uh, Berlin needs to upgrade, you need to upgrade, that way nobody can get through this. Then again, we should also have a fort over here. Oh, they're building something. What's going on? The naval equipment manufactory. I think not. Oh, they upgraded Prague for me. That's very nice. And between them, Prague, you've got that one covered. I want to... Ah, forget it on Nitra then. Um, clunk, and I'm going to put one here. Forget the workshop have a giant fort maybe that is only the first layer of the uh, of the iron curtain let's ensure nobody gets through this either Finland is there to burn I don't mind them burning no way no how these forts help me out through a lot we're busy uh, culturally enriching those guys though ah this isn't a problem One of the shames about uh, about this kind of colonization is I don't really care what happens in the colonies, like what trade goods they have and what stats the, the provinces have. It's just not important, sadly. There we go. Goodbye, coalition. Goodbye, Austria. Goodbye... Who else is left? It's just a one-man. It's only Switzerland. You know, the guys that left. Okay, goodbye aristocratic. We never had aristocratic ideas. Hello, Explo. Because I need that extra... Um, clunk. Yeah, that extra clunk. And that freed up one of my policies, kind of sadly. Don't even need any of these tariffs, income, missionary, unity, unrat. Yeah, well, I'll take it if I can take it. And mill cap as well, which is a bit meaningless, so let's just... Hmm. Zeta, you're a great province. Here you go. Nothing better to do with it. We're in the end game, so I'm not... not concerned. Since we're so rig uh, rigorously orthodox, I need not fear any kind of um, any kind of uprising. It's nice to have some actual income as well. And whilst the army, yeah, you know, the army would consume all of that if they were actually fully mobilized right now, they are not. Ooh, is it time for Ocel to change yet? It is. Good. Oh, that is flush. It's almost, uh, almost gonna get better, too.
Ooh, do you think Merc companies will change Merc hordes from very hard mode blobs? You kind of got to play out with it to uh, to find out. There's certainly going to be changes with that. Can't Merc up the way you did before. I think there's a lot more thought that'll have to go into it. But uh, it's been quite a while since I've been on the project, so I'm not entirely sure how uh, how things are right now. During development, things do change quite a lot. Just in general. Is the Great Horde still your favorite nation in the game? Yes, yes they are. I love the Great Horde. I don't think I'll ever not love the Great Horde. Over my territories again. But that can be easily dealt with. And I just take it and fully core it. I want to make sure that my heartland actually looks like my heartland here. Even if these aren't the best of uh, areas to state up. I'll take it. I'm actually in a deficit thanks to all of these, but that's okay. Where? Uh, sure. Wipe them out. Now, we've not been fighting for very long, so go figure, we don't have the best of generals anymore. Well, that army tradition actually persisted better than I thought it would. Almost 80 right there. I'm not sure how many more in-game years this is going to take, but it will be done. And I want to see this through all the way. Can't imagine it'll take much more than an hour real time, so if you just wanted to come in for the end, it might be a good idea to go and get yourself that cup of tea you promised yourself a while back. Just like I should keep myself hydrated here. 'Ain't easy being the Tsar. But I make it look easy. I also did the nicest of things by giving all this land uh, those Greek cores. Well, Maintaining their Greek culture, they'll be getting this back. Ensuring that it stays out of uh, Ottoman hands. What are you drinking? Water. Every stream. Always water. It's the ultimate gamer fuel. I, I am absolutely disgusted by soda, so you won't catch me dead drinking that. <laughs> Jake not revealing a secret water pran. Yeah, out of the tap, like all Northern Europe enjoys. Who were the real winners in this campaign? Castile. Didn't they go local noble? Yeah, uh, wait, what? I swear Castile went local noble. How did they get that union? Oh, they must have got it recently, right? Because Aragon was our friend for a while. But uh, Castile went local noble. There was something else crazy that happened. Austria didn't take Hungary. Uh, PLC, they stayed the course together. But I think early on there was another mad thing that, you know, never normally happens, but it happened here. On the local noble scale. Let's bring you folks back. I will otherwise forget about that province if I don't gun it down, so let's go for it. Cheers, Jake. I did really like how the restrictions kept the challenge level high all the way through the last Timmy Wars. Yeah, and the Timmy War... Um, okay, he smacked me in a battle or two, but that was when, finally, you knew I was winning. Things were kept tense for a long time in this run. 
Perhaps longer than I wanted them to. Let's just get rid of the last of these as well. What is it? <laughs> have, we, have we had a single naval engagement in this entire run? I don't feel like we have. Not a lot left to do, and soon we'll have all of this unveiled as well. So it's time to just sweep across here. Well, no, we've got this cord, but we don't unveil these just yet. Madness. I don't know exactly how long it takes. You had one suicide transport. That's the way to do it. Ooh. Some say the best way to get mercantilism. Some say, get out of my court. I can hire and fire you guys and it ain't no thing. Wait, tariffs? Yeah, let's be the nice guy of Europe. In true Soviet way, what is navy? Amen, brother. Again, just recall and get these rolling. I swear we'll figure out what's behind here soon enough. We don't get to see speed 5 often in these dreams. Yeah, there's all kinds of new things happening here. Wait. Alright, oh, they took that province. I should probably take it back from them. Ah, see, forgiven by Europe. And come to think of it, I might get a little dangerously close to the end of the game at this rate. Well, if I get to tech 32, I'll be in a better state like that. I could have just waited for that tech and then gotten my, uh, my ideas here. Ho hum. Expansion. Do you give global settler increase at all? Global settler increase with quantity ideas. Yeah, sure. People were saying quantity would be fitting for Soviet bloc, and I said, no, I don't want to take quantity. I feel it's too much of a crutch. So let's just break that straight away right here. Despite counter-espionage, I cannot stop the Timmy from uh, screwing my nation. Let's get you out of there and continue the wall. here. There is more to be done. Don't forget the colonization buffs from the estates as well. I have been completely forgetting about them. New World Charter. They need to have more influence. Well, it's Monopoly Charters for you. New World. Yeah, this is a whole new world. Still. It's our living space, not anybody else's. We fought hard to secure it. Now, the original plan in this run was not to do all this colonization. I thought I could keep Muscovy alive and have them do it for me, but they refused. Well, they refused to colonize, they also refused to convert, and then they refused to live. Although I might have had a thing to play in that last part. Global settler increase plus 10 is hardly worth knowing. Better to... Mm. Oh well, enjoy. The clergy has one too. New World Missions, huh? Oh, that's uh, Assimilation. 
That's not nearly so useful at all. But we'll take it, why not? Bengal accepted white piece with uh, Venice. What is happening? I... Hmm. Hmm. Couldn't be prouder. I don't know, but it does seem like something Bengal would win out in, and suddenly I'm glad I didn't pursue those Sino relations. Okay, I'm now colonists. There's something under there. Find it for me. I haven't paid attention to the trade goods we've been getting out of here, but some gems. Oh, coal. No, I had that coal a long time ago. Regrettable. Ignore. Oh, maybe, maybe not ignore. Not a lot of unknown left out there. Just trying to blitz through things as best I can. Tell you, that regiment cost is probably really nice for me. Oh, hmm. Glad we've built up this economy so we can have this kind of colonial mania. How am I getting all this dosh now? It must be all these trade goods that I now have flowing in to, uh, to Novgorod, right? Uh, Novgorod's not that much more valuable, but I do make good production on them. Helped by all those furnaces that I have. There we go, 5%, 5%, da 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 Compounds very well with this. Hmm. Time to spit out Hungary and Greece? At the end. I mean, what have they done to deserve independence? I can't count many things. I can't count any things. It is, however, time to culturally enrich some of those lands that we took over. Is it not? Oh, well, I guess just you for now. We'll get them yet. Okay, five years until I can get you done, and I will get you done. Feed Hungary to Black it. No, we will have Hungary. I'm going for authentic borders here. Authentic Soviet borders. This is an ambitious run, no doubt about it. And I think I've been able to deal with the issue about people saying that Yugoslavia was never part of Soviet uh, bloc. Well, there won't be Yugoslavia. It will be directly held by uh, the strongest Yugoslavs around the Montenegrins. I think that's a fair compromise for all. And if I think it, then it must be true. Greece won't be in the Soviet bloc, they'll be released as an independent nation. But like I said, I had people on YouTube, people, well, maybe person, well, they were probably Greek, so again, might be an overstatement. But uh, they were telling me about how uh, the Soviets had influence over Greece in the era, and, you know, it's justification for putting them in. I don't buy it, I don't buy it at all. We will have an independent Greece, they can make their own mistakes. And we'll have one game as well. Keep it coming along. I'm not happy with these gaps inside the country, which is why we're getting rid of them, of course. Yeah, wow, the economy is booming. What? What is going on? I suppose it kind of helps that we have a lot more states, and those states are all enjoying prosperity right now. I suppose. Not to mention, we don't even own all of Greece. We're missing some islands. Yeah, uh, the sooner I pop them out, the sooner people are going to stop harping on about those bloomin' islands, I hope. But never ever. Come on, fill in all those gaps. Now this province doesn't want to share its secrets with us. Pod Lassie, but I'm sure the Poles can deal with that. In fact, looking at our subjects, 
Mongolian People's Republic's the only one that has any inkling of wanting to rise up. They all love us to bits. Huge armies of their own. Wow. Where was that army when I needed it? Guess I never needed it, but uh, I wanted it. There we go. That's you. And nothing to the north of you is uh, colonizable anyway. Surgut done. All these provinces here are done. So let's get you moving on over. Ah, bags of time. We got this one done. Not a fan of the phrase bags of anymore after losing to bag in DDR. Just, I'm always reminded of it now. Painful. What was Prome, says one stump man. Prome is a one province nation, not a custom nation. Right down here. In this region that I've forgotten the name of already. Burma. Of course they don't exist right now. Hipshaw saw to that. But using Prome there, we reforged the Roman Empire. That was a damn good run. I've had a lot of damn good runs. Alright, we can we can rush and get our borders now. Whenever the colonists land, I can just recall them. Wherever they are. Yeah, one is at home, where are the other two? One's there, one's going there. In that case, slap them in. Let's get them done as quickly as we can. No need to stand around all day. No one said we had to core all these lands either. couple of uh, two stacks here. They're not super relevant, but I don't want any issues with uh, natives rising up, and I don't want to leave any of it to chance either. I'm not like Watto here with his blooming chance cube. What was the Hansa run, says uh, Petar the Master. Oh, you don't want to know. Patrician 4, Perfect Hansa. Hold on, no, we did a Perfect Hansa run in the game. It was as a Riazan. Uh, not Riazan. Help me. 1444 mode. Yeah, Rostov. God, how did I forget that? We conquered the Hansa. Cultural enrichment, Jake. I wish, but not everybody is open to this idea yet. You still have the magic die, Jake? I'm pretty sure I chucked it. I'm scared of uh, overflowing the luck. It's higher than it ever deserves to be. Okay, three more provinces and we are done here. And then we bring Hungary into the fray. And Greece gets to be free. Hang on, did it Ottomans take or lose land there? Yeah, the Ottomans are winning, of course they are. At least they set their sights other, uh, to somewhere other than us. One thing I really enjoyed about this campaign was we had so many big beefy enemies and one by one we tore them down. But other than the Commonwealth, we didn't really disable any of them. Not entirely. Denmark's still there, big threat. Ottoman's still there, big threat. Timmy's still a big, huge threat. Ming's still there. Commonwealth is the only one that we completely evaporated. Of course, they were an illegitimate government, which is why we have the Polish People's Republic. But they knew the wrongs they'd committed. You evaporated Hungary, too. Um, Hungary was never a threat, right? Except for that moment they announced to the whole world that they were going to wipe me off the face of the earth. 
How did we quickly get around that? That's right, I sold the province they wanted to take. And I think I sold it to the Ottomans. Okay, and that is the last one. A little bit of a shame about these cultures that... Uh, can we get rid of them yet? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, I guess we're running until these cultures are done, which will be uh, not even eight years. And let all these um, all these colonies get done as well. Montenegro, and we'll take the opportunity to release Greece. Um, how to do that though? I think it might be in my interests just to release them as a vassal and then drop them. Because if I give their provinces back one by one, they're going to... Um... Oh man, tell me they won't take any provinces that I want to keep for myself. Scope is the only one they'd really take, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, whatever. Welcome, Greece. This is my easiest way to give them the land as well. It'd be funny if they spawned and just immediately had debt that I had to pay off for them. Uh, Ev Beja Naxus with a K and Jidringe and Saragrad. I poured so much into Saragrad, you should be grateful. That actually looks good. I'm gonna throw a guarantee on them when they're out. And who else are we birthing right now? Ungre. Nine provinces. Better be these nine. There. And you're going to be a march and you're not going to cause me any problems, right? That's kind of a shade of blue. Blue is involved in the color brown. You can take care of that. And I can also take care of the last two conversions on my subjects. Corfu as well, Jake. Uh, no, Corfu isn't mine. It's Venice's. That's for uh, an independent Greece to figure out. Hemorrhaging money through all these um, colonizations. If you remember back to the Navarra campaign, and I bet there's about five people in total that were around during that, uh, we just went constantly bankrupt colonizing because back then bankruptcy didn't affect your colonization speed. Yugoslavia? Nope. See, Yugoslavia gets a lot of people all kinds of riled up. So this is the... this is what we're going for. There is no Yugoslavia. There is only Montenegro. Direct control. You can take that how you want it to be. Just a little bit, and then Serbian stretches so far. Today we're all proud Serbs. Oh, I think I used that line already. Mm, I don't think I'm going to wait on this province. It's got a long ways to go. 1800. So, voting for the next campaign today. The voting is ongoing. We're going to roll for it on Sunday. Probably after the weekly one-shot. The, the EU4 campaigns get voted on on uh, Patreon. But it's not a case of winner-takes-all. Each vote gets some place on the wheel. And then we spin the wheel to see who comes out on top. So if one of them has 10% of the vote and another has 90, well, the 90 has a good chance, but the votes aren't wasted on the 10%. They could still win. Which campaign is currently ahead? Great Dane has about 45% of the vote. So uh, it's more likely than each of the other two choices that Great Dane wins, but it's more likely than not that it does not win. Take that, statisticians. Come on, cultural enrichment. You're almost there. Well, these guys will take a while. 
I just want to see Serbia stretch like Montenegro does. Jake, how do you get your campaign ideas? Um, I usually sit down and I stare at the map in 1444 and I just pan around and the ideas come to me. That is exactly how it goes. But the crucial thing is that I think about the campaign dynamic before I think of the country or the the name for it. I think a lot of people try to think of a witty name and then shoehorn a campaign into it, which uh, always comes out lackluster, without exception. Sorry, but it's true. There you go, Zeta. You've done so much for us. You should, of course, be the top dog of provinces. Have a uh, have a lovely building. Have a massive fortification. That's how BBB started, though. Did it though? No, I I knew I wanted to recreate the Soviet Union borders, and I didn't know who as. And then I thought, well, let's play as an OPM, so it's extra difficult. And then I thought, mm, what's an unorthodox OPM? And I went around, and when I saw, when I when I landed here, now I've already done a lot of campaigns here. I've done Albania, I've done Greater Albania, I've done Serbia, I've done Naxus. And now we've done Montenegro. Uh, but I looked at Serbia, and I remembered back to an old campaign I did uh, before I was ever a streamer. And, ugh, to that phrase. Uh, and that's when I played Mayo for EU3. I played as Montenegro, uh, who is a subject of Serbia, and the whole plan was to be a loyal subject, save Serbia, we fight together, and of course we both brutally died. It was awful. And I thought, ha, let's try and do some justice for that. So that's when I went to see, can I start as Montenegro? Yes, I can. And then we just uh, threw everything we had on the first session and we made it work, despite being dowed on by Venice and by Bosnia and by Ragusa and there you go, Greece, you're on your own now. I will, however, give you a guarantee because I'm, I'm nice like that. Don't drag me into any, into any pointless wars. There we go. Borders final. Yeah, these are being done, but it's fine by that. Jake, capital back to Zeta? That's not a bad idea. We never moved, did we? That's gonna kill my economy. <laughs> Is this still my main trading place? No, I think that moved. I still want that to be my tr main trading port. There we go. Let's not kill the economy over one small capital change. Okay. Ah, excellent. That's a spread. Oh, we'll just wait a little bit longer and we'll get this one done. I'm not going to wait out to the metropolis of the east here, though. And when we do, we'll go through everything that anybody wants to check in the game. We're not on Iron Man, so we can tag around and do whatever the heck we want. Montenegro in Eastern Europe. That's a problem. I wanted to say Montenegro here, not Montenegro in Eastern Europe. That's, that's a shambles, no. The money shot has to look a bit better than that. Oh, God. Less development than the target. Massive cost. We'll get it. Well, I can develop it a little bit to make it a little bit cheaper, right? There we go, let's not have that uh, Montenegro and East Europe nonsense. Abort capital change, abort, uh, abort monarch power. When does it change? Oh god, are we, <laughs> are we stuck with this forever? Because of that, my own subject's calling me filth. God, no. No, please. 
There we go. Whew. Not only does it say Montenegro there, it says Serbian. And with that, we are done. 24, 25 years before the end of the game as well. Good grief. Okay, let's get a rundown of that. We have achieved our everything here. Now, when I started with this, I didn't have a lot in the way of maps. I had a map that I think I don't have anymore, um, that I flashed on the screen. Where's my other map? Yeah, here's one that I was looking at. This is, uh, this is the Warsaw Pact borders that I knew I wanted to have here. I wanted to have DDR, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria, Romanian People's Republic. Everything in red and super dark red was going to be directly held by me, naturally. And I like to think that's exactly what we got out here. Jake Sardom's Revenge. Go slap for it. No. No, we are 200% done here. Uh, we got the DDR. And they're all... If their client states are republics. They're all orthodox. And they're all fully converted. Polish People's Republic. Actually the strongest subject we have. 111 units there. No wonder. So meaty. Nitra represents Czechoslovakia. They've got their three areas. And boy are they good areas. Hungary gobbed out at the last minute, so they haven't had a lot to say or do in this campaign. And they've lost all their foreign cores, good. Uh, Wallachia, representing Romania, has done probably the best for me. So many wars they were instrumental in, almost as instrumental as Bosnia back when they existed, which they don't now, laughing at them. Bulgaria hasn't really done much for me, but they've been ch Chavanoa. I think on a few occasions Burgas was sieged down, distracting enemies for me. Nothing to say about Greece, they're not even my subject. Uh, and Albania, I don't know, maybe they've been doing things under the under the cover of darkness without me knowing, but still, there they are. And the other subjects we have, I toyed with the idea of a Finland, but no, it's directly held because that is glorious Soviet land, no matter what anybody says. Mongolian People's Republic was really strong for quite a while, and they did contribute to some battles. And I don't think uh, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea has done anything of note to this campaign. But they've been there, and they've been the one true and best Korea. You can tell by looking at the development map mode how much greener they are than... Uh, how much greener they are than regular Korea. Glorious. And yes, TVW, we grabbed the Kirills. We grabbed the Kirills, good. Uh, no PR of China? No, absolutely not. If you started thinking that uh, China was a satellite state of Soviet Republic, then the justification will take you all the way down to, uh, to Ceylon, no doubt. Whew. Great power map mode, so we can see the whole block under the blue color. Also timeline. Absolutely. See, that's how you get your requests in for this. Um, does great power have a map mode? If we do, it's not one that I've ever used. There we go, great powers. Montenegro, big, strong, and of course the greatest po What? Greatest power, listen to no other sources. Jesus. Um, Alright, let's wash that stain away by enjoying the timeline. It will not show us holding Zeta because of a bug with uh, releasing on the first day. How did it go down? Oh, Krivens, too fast, too fast. We need to start again. Alright, so the moment we started, we were declared on by Venice. We paid them off. We were also declared on by Bosnia at the same time. We crushed Bosnia, made them a subject so the rebels wouldn't take over Zeta. Uh, Ragusa declared war on us. We annexed them too, which was great because normally they're too uh, guaranteed by Ottomans to take on. I sold out a province to Venice because I think Hungary wanted to kill me for it. Uh, and at this point, I was kind of low on opportunities to expand. Again, remember that I do have uh, Zeta here. And around this point, I knew I wouldn't be able to break out of here. Nobody wanted to be my friend either. So I slogged my way around here and I subjugated Circassia, who were busy in a lot of other wars of their own. That was tricky. Theodore was involved. This is where, you know... You look at 4,000 men and you go, oh, this is a big problem. Uh, fortunately, though, the Great Horde was ready to go down, and I got an alliance with Muscovy, 
So when they were reduced, I tore down what was left of them. Tore, tore down what was left of them. There we go. And using my friendship with Muscovy, tried to get myself swoller around here. So I gobbled up Crimea. Unfortunately, they were uh, non co -belligerent. That gave me a lot of regress expansion. I faced a lot of coalition threats around here. I don't remember them mounting up to anything. Um, and the Ottomans are ensnaring me here. But we saw an opportunity to gun down Serbia when we were eating one of the many Ottoman declarations. We also eyed up Wallachia there after selling them out. Solidified the land around here. There's still a border between ourselves and uh, Karak Yunlu, who are going bankrupt and destroyed the whole time. Now, this was a huge move I made. Uh, I annexed all of this land, spat out Wallachia, and allied PLC. The only reason I was able to get them was because I boarded them, getting rid of the minus 20 that we eat thanks to very hard mode. And it was perfectly calculated. I had plus one reason for them to ally me. And with a PLC on my side, I had a lot more safety. I was able to rip into Hungary, although not really for much of my own land. Uh, and the main thing that I was doing here was expanding into Muscovy. Might have been some other minor gains elsewhere, but it was all about now building up a tax base, and that tax base was going to be Russian. So we did some ugly things. These borders are hideous, and they were hard to administer. Administrate, rather. But we were able to cut off Denmark and PLC from more Muscovite land. We gobbled them up. We released Kazakh and fed them Uzbek land. Uzbek land. There we go. A bit more. And then we would take a very long time to integrate them. But integrate them we would. Tried to keep Muscovy as a pet. So that we could have them convert and expand through colonies. They did not. Was eating up uh, rich Hungarian land. But I didn't want to cheese off the Europeans too much. It was tempted to go further east here, but the further east we went, the more it cost to administer the land, and there was a lot of conversions to do. We struggled with the religious unity the whole campaign. Uh, and around this point, we just had to get stronger. So every moment that passed, we got stronger, and we crushed the Ottomans in some successive non-truce broke wars. Uh, I decided to keep Greece as a tax base till the end, and I'm glad I did. Same with Hungary, I wasn't going to gob them out just yet. So Ottomans were removed as a threat... And then the Commonwealth eventually had to go down. Oh, that's kind of beautiful. Chomp, 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 and then kind of the rest is history. Let's just watch it all come together. Glorious. And then filling in the gaps. See, it didn't take time at all. Almost terrifying in a way. Oh, yeah, the other rare thing was that, uh, that they did not become a subject. Let's just watch it all in full speed here. Oh, I'm so proud of Montenegro here. Jake, will you be playing more Battle Brothers soon? Nope, we've finished with that long play. The next long play will be RimWorld, starting next week. Finland wasn't a Soviet satellite. Why did you annex them? Uh, Finnish, Finland's land was Soviet land. Then they defected, and the Soviets acknowledged their independence after that. I'm not Soviet. Right, our borders are, but I am not. So I don't have to acknowledge Finnish independence. The only thing I acknowledge is Finnish subservience. And I won't hear anything otherwise. Brilliant. Oh, I love that filling in towards the end. How's the new world? Ugh. I suppose we can take a look at the Americas here. Mm-mm. You just want Max's for a holiday home, sure. Yeah, the Castilians came out very strong in this, which was all the more terrifying when they joined the coalition against us. But it ended up working for me. It meant I was able to fight a war against them and, well, fight a war against the Danes turned uh, Scandinavians and take the Kirills from them. That one war score cost so much to get. Hideous. Why am I even looking at this? Cuba? No, Cuba was never Soviet. Right, what else do we want to look at? We can still tag around and such since this is non Iron Man. Might as well get a good look at uh, some ledger stuff here. Who's top earner? Certainly not me. Uh, far from me. Top in terms of armies? Again. 
totally not me. We don't have a strong nation here. If this was multiplayer, a strong consolidated Italy would be able to destroy me with nothing but Italian lands. I guarantee it. I mean, if they were good, right? Religion map mode. We're completely orthodox now after spending so long struggling with uh, religion. All of our subjects are as well. And whilst we're looking at it culturally, Serbian all the way. In fact, we are 74% Serbian. And I think that's only counting uh, state land as well. We eradicated the Muscovites, even though we accepted them. Same with the Hungarians. Well, we gobbed them out. We got rid of all the Novgorods. We, uh, we cast out the Greeks and we converted all the Kazakhs. So all the cultures we said that we'd accept, we've eradicated. So, good for us. That's an unhealthy amount of Serbian for anyone to be. Man, my year plans involved going down to here, but uh, that might be canned for a wee while. We shall see. Still, this is what the campaign was really about, and I'm glad it came together. Despite me saying it's not a cultural campaign. 0% all accepted cultures is a chat move. <laughs> was the right move for us. Check out GB's bank, Crawley. GB's making the, the tons of money. We are not, sadly. Yeah, that sweet trade that they get in. It took a long time for us to make even double digits in trade. We had to lock down Novgorod. Even when we had uh, Novgorod, the Swedes were pulling way too much of it out. Okay, you've got like half a minute if you want to see anything else in this campaign before we close the books on this one. Can't think of anything else really to check out here. We did all of our government reforms, got all of our subjects here, the banks, the trade, the tech, the ideas. <laughs> Create a grand fleet. Kind of stuck on that one, sadly. 30 galleys or 10 heavy ships. European religious map mode. Well, there's no Hussite here, but we've got the Anglican. We have crushed on the Protestant. Thank God for the uh, the rife between Protestantism and Catholicism. Allowed us to eat up Commonwealth a whole lot easier. Is Polish PR adjective name still a bunch of numbers? No, that's the Dutch DR's uh, adjective. Fortunately, you don't really see it here. Ah, uh, there we go. Our one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two spy network. If I wanted to fix that, and there's no reason that I can't try and fix that just now, I would have to revoke their march, and then they would suddenly be a regular client state, and then I still can't do it? Wow, that is broken and not how it should be. Cool. Well, if you're going to make a client state march, make sure you have them perfectly set up, because there's no option to edit them afterwards. Didn't know that, and now I do. Uh, oh right, counting Serbian deaths, perhaps the most important number. Army losses, who lost the most in this campaign? Surprisingly, not Montenegro. We lost very few in the grand scheme of things. Um, attrition accounted for over half of our, uh, our losses. 3.78, nothing compared to the Ottomans. But to be fair, we killed so many Ottomans. We were just stomping all over them for a long time. Then again, the big countries that uh, fight the kind of wars around here tend to be the front, runner, front runners, thanks to attrition. Not untrue either. Attrition was a real killer. 10 million Ottoman losses to it. Yeah, still not enough, frankly. I'm also being told to honor the glorious navy. So this navy, uh, although it is crap, uh, it was instrumental in ferrying our units around back when we were broken up. You know, I had to go between Zeta and uh, Aghe back when we just had Kirkassia as our subject here and didn't even directly own land. The whole reason I had to strike out and grab Kirkassia as a subject is because I was locked in here. Let's plow it forward a bit so we can see. Locked in here, all I had were these four provinces, my capital Zeta and Bosnia as a subject. And I knew that the Ottomans would come for more, or even Serbia would turn on me. That's why we know CB Kirkassia to subjugate them. And if you have a subject, then you can conquer lands that's adjacent to them as long as it's on the same continent. And this is, of course, Europe. What does Timmy look like? Oh, he's a mess. He's a right mess. At least I took a big chunk out of him, but he's still fairly big and strong. Still, we got a very advantageous war against him since he was busy with the Ming. 
Oh, okay. That is it. That has been Montenegro with the big blue block. Very hard mode. One shot. 74% Serbian. As it should be. Cheers for joining. This has been a fantastic campaign. We will roll the next campaign this Sunday. Probably after the weekly one shot. And it is between... Said it before and I'll say it again. Great Danes play as Denmark. Become number one great power without gaining any new cores. And remove all starting great powers from great power map mode. So we will have to kill Ming. And we will have to do it without gaining land for ourselves. You first, where we play as you. Well, we start as you. Who knows what we form. Uh, I can't expand outside the Tibetan region. But I have to make sure that all provinces in Tibetan region are more developed than all the provinces in uh, China and India. So if there is, say, a 31 development province here, these all have to be 32 development. Or we burn it down, of course. And the other one is playing as Imerina here, and we're going to take revenge against the most prolific slave owners the planet has known. The Belgians, we have to eradicate them from existence and corner the slave market for ourselves. That's all going up to vote on Patreon right now. So until we have the answer on that one, it's a cheers from me and a cheerio.